Welcome back, Stasa 23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And uh, before I get started, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up so I know you're enjoying the content. If not, thumbs down works as well. I'm just trying to gauge how y'all feel. Um, and if you like knife content and you're not already, hit that subscribe button. Today I have for you uh, my buddy OCD for EDC has come up with a genius idea and it's called his uh, CME. That's this little piece right here. And what this little tab does is it was originally designed because he's a left-handed uh, person and a Spyderco compression lock is really not tailored for lefties. <clears throat> so what this is, is he has hand milled a little shelf. Let's see, can I show you all that? Little shelf onto the G10 right there. And what that does is sits on top of the uh, compression lock, like so. And it sits a little bit proud of the scales, not much. You can always sand it down some more, but he uses that as an indexing point so you can feel it a little bit. But today we're going to install it, and we'll see how easy it is to install. It comes with everything, maybe not the same exact stickers, but some swag, cool little bag, um some alcohol an alcohol cleaning wipe to wipe down the surfaces so you don't have any oil on them a little uh, disposable thing of super glue and you use this paper as a shim to give it a little bit of clearance from the bottom and uh i just wrote it on here they're 25 dollars uh email them uh, uh let's see i don't know yeah email them at info at ocd for edc.com if you want to get your hands on one of these, I think he um, does a discount if you buy more than one. Just contact him. He also has a video. I'll try to leave a link down below for it. But let's get started so this doesn't take forever. So first, he says, uh, you know, you want to clean the G10 just in case, you know, just by touching it, get your hand oils on it. Because when you're gluing something down, especially, you know, something like this to um, to metal if you have any oils or grease it's not gonna it's not gonna get a it's not gonna make good contact and it's not gonna stick so put that right there and we're gonna open up this blade a little bit because it sticks down a little bit for the capara and we're gonna clean this real good you can if you wanted to if you needed to take take your knife apart anyway you know, you could definitely do it taken apart. I prefer, I would prefer to do it with the knife together so um, I can see, you know, where it's going to be sitting. So let's put this off to the side and we'll let that dry for a second. Close this up. And what he says in video, take this and roll it around your finger. This is going to be used as a shim. And the reason why he's saying that is so whenever you stick it, you know, right here as your shim, it won't be popping up on you. So let's see, we're going to, we're going to, uh, spin this on so it'll open it up and hopefully you let me know how the sound con quality is. Cause I've had some people say my, um, my volume's too low. I've adjusted the gains on my mic. Hopefully that works. So he said put three little dots. Whoop. And like always, I put way too much. That's all right. Alrighty. Let's put this off to the side, the glue off to the side. And put the little shim in there. I'll probably end up gluing my fingers to this or something. Whoops. Yep, I'll definitely be gluing my fingers to this or something. Let's see. Once, usually whenever, um, 
super glue has you know made a good contact with whatever you're gluing usually it's good to go after that and uh, there we go it's on there and uh, I'm gonna let it cure for a little while so that was easy easy peasy I think he definitely has got something here very cool it does sit a little proud of the scale I could have easily ground that down a little bit but for me the Kapara um, was not getting carried at all because of the fact that it was really hard for me to um, to disengage that compression lock I literally threw this knife across a room twice trying to pinch it and uh, and then put my fingernail in there absolutely hate it I know I'll probably be installing these on every one of my compression locks from here on out um, I've tried to do something like this but um, I used baking soda and was it super glue and basically you form like a little nub on there but this is much cooler and I want to support my buddy I'm, I'm always uh, wanting to support especially anybody in the knife community any way I possibly can and uh, I think this is a genius idea so there you go um, I may try to let's see see if I can pull this out probably should have let it you know harden a little bit longer but I don't want to make this video super long let me make sure let's see yeah if it pops off I can always put it back on I just wanted to give you all a good look at this so like I said if you don't want it to sit that proud of the scale you could always, you know, take a little bit off here, but you got to be careful because it does have that little shelf. And you do want it to sit on top of there. I guess if you, you know, didn't care if it sat on top of there, but then it would be harder to install. And there, that's that's all it's sticking up. Really, with the Kapara, how wide the scales are, it doesn't stick up that much higher. Actually, yeah, barely any. I think it's perfect like that. And let's see. There it goes, and as you can see, it sticks up above right there. There it is on the bottom side, and oh, <laughs> ooh, Justin, you got something here, buddy. I hope nobody tries to knock him off because he's doing these by hand. Um, uh, he's probably doing as many as he can at the moment. Because I'm sure he's going to get a lot of orders for these. And uh, I know, like I said, I'll be putting them on any compression lock I have. Because I had stopped, I pretty much stopped buying compression lock knives. Because I didn't, I didn't like the fact that I had to uh, dig my fingernail in there. It was just not comfortable. Super cool. I'll uh, update y'all later, you know, after I've used it for a good while. And thanks, Justin, OCD for EDC. Go check him out. Check out the link if you hadn't already watched it. And if you're not subscribed to his channel, definitely go check him out. Give him a follow. He does some awesome stuff, especially gets all the new spider codes, every one of them. All right, guys and girls, hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful day. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.